Martin, Marley, or Lumumba, they silence to the casket. But when a rapper be rapping back shrapping, no surprise, they broadcast it. I'm so angry, I'm sick. The only drip I want to flip is being compared to Nip. See, the hustle was a crip, so I pour out some liquor and take a sip. For a modern day leader, he was the epitome of black entrepreneurship. I'm angered because the OGs have got the young Gs trapped with He is for people who choose to stand together and fight for their beliefs. Yes. Our is resistance against those who want to stop, who want to strip us of our heritage, culture and race. O is for officers who think it's okay to wrongly accuse and arrest those who are deemed criminals for putting their hands in their pockets or wearing a hoodie. T is for tackling us to the ground and making us work because we are stronger and have a higher tolerance against the sun. E is for everyone is equal and all lives matter, but black lives matter the most right now. S is for speaking together as one to make our voices louder. T is for together we will have our place, peace and freedom in the end. That is how I spell protest. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. I think there was. I, 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 I have. 
had a lesson with Natalie Morris and I've learned that it's okay not to know what you want to be when you grow up and um, she did, and uh, journalism is a really fun thing to do. Yesterday I had a lesson with Natalie Morris, she told us about her book Mixed Over. today as we learned about a significant activist, Olive Morris. She felt very young for black people and women's rights. I appreciated when we discussed about ways to commemorate her through generations. Olive Morris is a very inspiring woman and I believe everyone should know about her story. Today I learned about Olive Morris's activism and the novel way she perpetrated it. She was a squatter and was on the cover of the Squatter's Handbook and her activism centered around the rejection of the status quo. Today, I learned about Olive Morris and her impact on both Manchester and London. I learned about how in Brixton, there's a currency called the Brixton Pound with her face on it, which is dedicated to her. I learned about how she was a strong black white activist and how she started the Black Panther movement and encouraged supplementary school. And I learned about how she was a squatter and on the cover of the squatters and Manchester, I was born in St Mary's Hospital, um, but my siblings and my mum, they were born in Somalia, and we speak Somali at home, well I try, I'm not, I'm not the best, I'm not speaking English most of the time. Today I did a presentation for the Year 7s on Black History Month, and we spoke about what makes their identity and what they think is the most important thing about their identity, and we talked about intersectionality and how that would affect someone's identity. Um, but I thought that was really useful seeing how 11 year olds can be more knowledgeable than people my own age and older and it taught me a lot about how things have changed in Cedar Mount. <laughs> so when I got here I put me months, I was born in into school, I, I was trying to discover what I liked and what I didn't like, so I made sure to 
engagement of in any of the companies that we have uh, black friends for this. And um, we know that in black communities we like not everything is like the same. Everybody has different uh, experiences <coughs> and it's about um, understanding that yes, you might have got these things in the past but you shouldn't let that hold you back from doing things that you want to do or asking questions that you want to do. And you shouldn't let In RS today, we watched a film called Napoleon About After, and it teaches you to love your natural hair. And it just shows that no matter like how your hair is, just love yourself anyway. Today in RS, we learn about natural black hair, and it made me feel like I'm seen and like my hair's beautiful and that. So yeah. was the first black British woman MP. She is being abused as a female pol politician and because she is a she is also a pol black politician so she is facing racial discrimination especially on social media such as um, Twitter tweets um, receiving negative comments. In the case of the mangrove now and Darkest who asked for the Derby member to be black, as Amanda Carter said he had the right to be judged by his peers. The reason why Darkest wanted a Derby of black people is so they are treated equally, not discriminated by someone with other skin colours. The trial of the mangrove nine lasted for fifty five days and they were all acquitted of the most serious charges. The trial became the first time a judge acknowledged the behaviour motivated by racial hatred within the Metropolitan Police. This was important because everyone has the right to a fair trial and if the police are being racist, they are breaching human rights. Not only that, but they are the police that are the law. This is a serious problem that needs to change. The symbolism I enjoyed the most in Black Panther was Umjidaka being unable to reach the ancestral plane in the same way as T'Challa because it emphasizes Umjidaka's real motive. He has been stripped of his culture and any attempts to regain it have been met with adversity so he can't interact with culture in the same way as T'Challa. My favourite moment from Black Panther was when Killmonger referenced the Ibo slaves who jumped off a slave ship to rather die in the ocean and when he says death is better than bondage and I also liked how they made reference to Harriet Tubman as there's a little un underground real. My favourite thing from Black Panther is the role of black women. On one side, you have the fierce, strong and powerful bodyguard who helped restoring Wakanda to King T'Challa during the final battle. On the other side, Suri, princess of Wakanda, is the designer and creator of such useful and cool gadgets who help protect her brother and so many other people. It is important for, me, for young black kids to see intelligent and strong black people represented in a film and is inspired as them. My favorite moment in Black Panther was when Killmonger said that he would rather die than be held in bondage, which means that and that her ancestors were killed and going on the slave trade, but instead of going to the slave trade, they wanted to jump at the ocean willingly because they'd rather die than having to leave a life held in captivity. And I really like that message because most of the time people prefer to have freedom rather than just not have freedom. And she is a woman from Kenya who planted many trees to help around the world and the environment and habitats, habitats of other animals. She also helped many other women in Kenya to get jobs. In today's RS lesson, we learned about the Black Lives Matter movement. I learned about anti-racism. Anti-racism means opposing racism and promoting racial tolerance. I think being anti-racist is important because it can prevent racism from happening in our country. In today's religious studies, um, I learned about Black Lives Matter. I learned about Edward Colston, whose statue was brought down in Bristol. My opinion about this statue, uh, about this, the statue she uh, stood in the river of
on <coughs> carrying on with our Black History Month and focusing on Nanny of the During lunchtime and break time, we're looking at our teacher's Black History Month hero. Black is beautiful. You should be thankful. You shine like a star and the light makes you great. And that makes you great. Graced.